In this video, we're going to integrate Calendly with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now, before we get into how to set up the integration, I want to just show a quick demo of how this works. So you can see here that I just scheduled a new Calendly meeting for uh, September 28th uh, from 10.30 to 11 a.m. And now if I hop over to Dynamics, we can see this brand new lead record that was just created from Calendly. So the Calendly event was scheduled and it created a brand new lead with the invitee's name, email address, and then also created an appointment for the time that was selected on the Calendly scheduling page. And then lastly, we can also see that I was set as the owner of this lead because they scheduled with my Calendly account. Now, this is just one example of the integration uh, that can be set up. It's completely customizable. I'm just using a pre-built template to push the lead data from Calendly to Dynamics within Power Automate. So I'm going to show you how to set that up now, but keep in mind that the this is just a template and it can be customized to fit your organization's needs. So if you'd prefer to create contacts or a custom object, you can absolutely do that. So. As I mentioned, we're going to be using Power Automate. So I'm going to click the app menu here and select Power Automate. And I'll be going through how to set up this uh, flow template, but real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up so you can take a look and just see how it works at a high level. So we're using this Calendly connector and we want this flow to run whenever an invitee is created from Calendly, so an event being scheduled. And then if we come down here, we can see that we are gonna try to find a lead in Dynamics that matches the invitee email. And then we're also gonna try to find the Calendly owner within Dynamics. And this is gonna be matched by using an email address. So. If your email address is test at example.com and Calendly, we'll try to find an owner within Dynamics that has that exact same test at example.com email address. So if the owner exists, we're going to save that owner ID. And then if a lead already exists, we're going to create an appointment associated with the existing lead. However, if a lead does not exist, we're going to create a lead and add the Calendly user as the owner of that lead. And I think that's down here at the bottom. Yep, so you can see we map the owner ID there. And now the last step here is creating an appointment that is connected to that lead. Now again, this is just a template that we'll be installing, so it's completely customizable. You can absolutely change the types of tables, uh, records that are created. And then you can, of course, map additional information. Within Power Automate, you'll be able to see all of the information from Calendly. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through here, just give you an idea of some of the information that is available that can be mapped over. So I have now deleted the flow so I can show you the process of setting this up and installing the template from scratch. So what you're going to do is you're going to select Import Package Legacy. And from here, you're going to upload the uh, zip file that is included in the video description. I'll also have a link in the video description to the actual flow template code. So if you prefer to grab the code and change it yourself, that's totally fine. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and upload the zip file uh, from the description. All right, so we've uploaded the package, but now there are a few steps that we need to do. So we need to have a Dataverse connection. This is our Dynamics database connection. And we also need a Calendly connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, the Dury import. And I don't have any existing connections right now, so I'm going to say Create New. 
And this is going to open a new tab for me to create a brand new connection. And now in the search bar, I'm going to select Dataverse. All right, so I've got my Dataverse account connected. So now if I go back of, over to my other tab with the import setup, I can click this refresh list and now select the correct account. So we've got our Dataverse connection. Now the last step is to create a Calendly connection. So same thing, I'm gonna say create new. And we're going to search for Calendly. And you'll want to make sure to select uh, the newer version of the Calendly connector. So you can see here that it's going to ask for a personal access token. Do note that the access token from Calendly will need to be created by a Calendly user with the role of owner or admin. So make, sh make sure you check the role before uh, creating a personal access token. So from Calendly, the way that you will get your personal access token is by visiting the integrations option from the header. Click on API and webhooks. And from this page, you'll say generate new token. And this will email you a two-factor authentication code. So you'll all go grab that from my email real quick. So I've pasted in the verification code, and now I can copy my personal access token. And I'm going to now hop back over to Power Automate. And just paste that token that was just copied and select Create. Great, so I've got both of my connections now. So as the last part of the import package step, I can Click uh, Refresh List here and select Calendly. And so I should be all set to import this now. All right, so it looks like the flow was successfully imported. So now if I go to my flows here, I can see it. And in my case, I have it currently disabled. But uh, once enabled, you can now use this flow to create and update leads within Dynamics when a Calendly event is scheduled. Um, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or feedback, please add it in the comments. Um, and just one final note, again, this is just a template, so feel free to customize this to meet your organization's needs. Thanks for watching.